the lecture we are going to cover up an important topic of vehicle safety and the topic which we are going to cover is the airbag what is the basic principle of airbags the nylon bag which is being used for cushioning the accidental effect and the electronic system for activating airbags means what the accelerometer how it used to work and how the signals are given uh, within 50 milliseconds how the complete activation of airbag used to take place so starting with today's lecture uh, the position of driver side airbag is being shown in the steering wheel that this portion used to blow up and through the gas filler the airbags used to fill up in a very small time and the inflation is being done so starting with the uh, today's lecture i would like to show you one video that how this used to happen the illustrative video is being shown over here this is the crash which is being shown over here and in the crash you can see that the airbag should not open in the pit holes means if there is any hole in the road itself the air, if that crash will open the airbag then it won't be suitable because every time when the vehicle will go for certain jerks or other things if a vehicle other vehicle is going side by the vehicle or large, large sound is there then also the airbag will can deployed so proper accelerometer is required so you can see the accelerometer meter a conventional accelerometer mechanism is being shown over here in this a ball and magnet mechanism is shown and what used to happen when there is a deacceleration or accident at a very high impact this ball used to leave this magnetic field and the magnetic strength that used to leave and that just used to strike this plate and the contact takes place between the two it is by the ball mechanism or cam mechanism i will show you further videos and through this the diagnostic register used to give the that much current to ignite the propellant so the mechanism is being shown through the video this is how the crash taken place and this uh, ball has will leave this magnet and will strike to this plate and the contact has taken place and final the circuit is completed this complete mechanism is called accelerometer so introduction i have give given you this uh, where it is being placed they are they are showing the inflation of balloon also but for this they want to show that if we have a compressed gas filled uh, or cylinder filled in the uh, airbag system if we are using that 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 won't be suitable because it will take very much long time so a pyrotechnical chemical is being used it is basically airbag is dependent on uh, chemicals so they are showing the bag also uh, balloons also and they are showing that the speed of inflation of air bag is much more than those balloons so sodium azide crystals were earlier used for inflation of these things because these are the pyro technical uh, uh, crystals and by small spark they used to generate a very large amount of nitrogen so these uh, are being shown these were used conventionally previously the script what they are saying is a uh, a small spark which is used for igniting that uh, sodium azide crystals i can show you so sodium azide crystals also uh, where they are filled in the uh, in the uh, gas generators these are the propellant charge these days sodium azide crystals are not used but for Uh, learning the basic concept you can go through that these sodium azide crystals are used and this is the igniter uh, what they are quite uh, telling as a script and this used to ignite both the sides and finally the gas is generated so this this uh, igniter they are calling it as script in the video and the sodium azide crystal used to ignite and the reaction they have shown three times the nitrogen used to generate because a huge amount of nitrogen is generated but what the problem is that nitrogen is uh, used to react with the moisture and form nitrogen hydroxide uh, which is highly corrosive so these days beside nitrogen potassium nitride or silicon dioxides are also used so these are conventional things the potassium nitride and silicon dioxide they have mentioned over here i will show you the reactions also how they used to take this but today what used to happen these are the conventional uh, uh, things which we are using these days vanadine 
nitrite nitrate is used for uh, generating the nitrogen and whatever method they are using but main thing is that nitrogen is to be generated in the ample amount and that too in a very short span of time so that the air bag get inflated before the passenger collide so main, main thing is that the right timing is required for inflation it should inflate before the collision of the head so that much time is required very less time is required and uh, this used to give a cushioning effect to the head and what else is there the side curtain bags are also shown over here in the video and this is the what the figure which is important for us this is the accelerometer i will show you the mechanism of accelerometer they have shown in this video also one ball and magnet type there are several other mechanisms also the heating element that is a squib because as soon as the accelerometer will give the signal to the heating element they will uh, that heating element will ignite as a igniter heating element will ignite the uh, charge and uh, uh, generate the nitrogen gas this heating element is used for chemical explosion because it is a, just like a explosion because you can't fill the gas like a uh, balloon and uh, that used to get fill inside the air bag so this is what the air bag circuit because from the accelerator meter this is the air bag circuit the complete circuit is there that used to give the signal to the squib and then the final signal uh, final inflation of air bag used to take place by explosion the squib used to give the explosion and that exploded nitrogen used to fill the air bag and the same explosion is required in the seat belt tightener also because both have to work simultaneously so two two explosions are required simultaneously and this is what they have shown the time they have mentioned is 50 milliseconds you can easily see over here i will show you the, the batting of the eyes means the flickering of the eyes also that in a single flick you will get all these done and the data which they have shown uh, is between 1987 and 2015 in uh, the airbag has saved these many lives so it is a big thing for innovation what they have done so the this simple chemical reaction is saving the life now what the history of airbag is we should go through the history of airbag that when it was started and how it came into action uh, and besides this i will show you the positions of airbags also because you should be well familiar with where airbags are located so first i would like to show you the position of the accelerometer this what the accelerometer they are showing because at the at the time of crash they have to detect the actual uh, signal in the video it was shown to you the signal is to be detected by the accelerometer itself and they used to ignite that chemical so this is the accelerometer they are showing in the video the complete mechanism they have shown this is the accelerometer and this the location they have mentioned in the this is the front passenger side if it is left hand side vehicle which is used in european countries and this is the driver side so these are the crash sensor for each and in individual airbag and the driver side airbag is being uh, uh, the location is shown is the steering itself it is in the steering and the passenger side airbag is shown and the sensor for this is the belt tensioner means belt tensioner propellant should also work for re driving the belt so that passenger couldn't collide with the steering at the first impact driver side airbag is being shown side crash sensor are shown because curtain airbags are also used and beside this rear side airbags are also there these are the rear side airbags which is being shown over here this is the rear right side airbag which is shown right head airbag front passenger side airbag so so many airbags are there and what you are seeing on the this is the vehicle uh, left hand side which is being shown over over here the sensor which you are seeing over here the same sensor the same sensor because there is a side collision is there the same sensor are there in the right hand side of the vehicle also so the uh, overall the sensor location is there these are called the accelerometer also and whenever the collision is there you can see in the front collision these two airbags used to inflate there is a driver side if it is in a european vehicle and passenger side 
if the collision is uh, diagonally means from this side then these many airbags 1 2 3 4 5 airbags will inflate if diagonally this side then this side airbags will inflate and if it is side impact i have shown you the side sensors also these were the sensor these were the sensors uh, shown to you then that sensor will activate the particular side airbag and if the collision is from this side the red arrow is being shown to you over here these airbags will inflate and if the collision is from rear side then what will happen then battery disconnector will work and the fuel supply whatever thing is there no airbags will be operated so the vehicle is smart itself because they, it is having the accelerometer and the sensor also and the complete mechanism is shown by the time uh, span also that what time is required from the zero uh, uh, timing zero millisecond time <coughs> to the 150 millisecond time it is being shown and the vehicle is going through a chase of 56 miles per hour you can see that uh, within 10 seconds the speed belt uh, tightener has ignited and after the 15 millisecond the air bag igniter has ignited so these are the first two things meanwhile what used to happen the initial crumble has taken place in the vehicle and if we show the complete 150 second cycle this is shown that eye is open and if we batted the eye and the eye is again open this much time duration is called 150 millisecond by showing through a analogy they have shown what will happen at the 50 and 60 second they are showing the airbag get inflated and the final deinflation is also being shown so airbags should be inflated well in time so time span they are showing over here through this pic and uh, starting with the airbag history now we should start because we are uh, we have gone through several things about the airbag now we should start with the history of the airbag the first patent for airbag was filed by walter lindner in 1951 the patent was awarded in 1953 it was not until 20 years in 1980, the first airbag was fitted in USA in automobile companies because most of the our saving, uh, safety standards are also from the uh, USA where, uh, what type of crash testing is to be done and what the standards are there. So it was fitted in 1980. Large volume airbags were used in USA because seat belts were not mandatory. They were not mandating seat belt, but these days what used to happen? Seat belt used to work in conjunction with the airbag to avoid uh, uh, accidental injuries. Airbag with lesser volume were used in Europe because seat belt was compulsory. At the first, airbags were fitted only on driver side, but later passenger side means front two airbags become come available. Side airbags were introduced in 1994 because the curtain airbags which was shown to you in the video also the curtain airbags were there. In the collision you can see. When the airbag used to inflate it. Beside this, uh, from the, beside the front airbag, the curtain airbag, you can see in the video. Front airbag is inflated and the curtain airbag also is there. So, this used to come, side airbag used to come in the 1994. They can be fitted on the front and rear seats, dependent on the equipment level, means uh, what the scope of the vehicle is and later on the window airbag head airbags were developed and i have shown you in the ppt also that these many airbags are these days working means right head right head airbag rear left side bag rear left side bag left side left head bag so these many bags are there and uh, coming to the next slide the front uh, function of, of front airbag is to protect the driver and at a, uh, if the collision takes place at a standstill stand obstacle of 60 km per hour. In frontal impact between two vehicles, the front airbag afford protection at a relative speed up to 100. A belt tightener alone cannot prevent the head from hitting because I have shown even though in the previous video on the belts, I have shown that seat belts used to work in conjunction with the airbag and belt tightener alone cannot prevent because belt after tightening used to lose also and they alone cannot prevent the head injuries. In order to fulfill this function, 
on the installation location vehicle and structure deformation response airbag shape different facility means uh, the different shape uh, uh, they used to take this and pressure build up sequence adapted to the vehicle condition now uh, the operating concept we should go through to protect driver and passenger pyrotechnical gas inflated that is the main chemical reaction which i was telling you uh, that is used and the sensors are also used means sensor plus chemical they combinedly used to uh, the chemical is the sodium azide i have given you the example and they combinedly used to inflate the air bags in millisecond generate a lots of gas so simple chemical reaction is the main thing and the what chemical reaction is there was firstly we should go, go through a theory, theory also the car crash into a obstacle wall at 20 plus miles sensor detect the deceleration and inflate unit inflator unit activated so accelerator meter mechanism i will show you through one more video all the one video was shown to you to guard against accidental inflation of hard braking sensor into solid brake speed greater than 8 to 14 miles per, per second only as impact because i have shown you in the video also that shouldn't get open in the simple case means if the any bump is there then also the airbag get get open that won't be suitable so hard braking or uh, accidental inflation shouldn't be there and what reactions used to take place by the heat element because these many pyrotechnical elements uh, are been are been filled inside the gas generators these are the propellant charge and what reaction used to take place is being shown to you over here Uh, this is the sodium azide reaction the popular reaction although it is not used the ample amount of nitrogen is generated that can fill the airbag within fraction of seconds the millisecond duration if uh, so, uh, sodium react with the uh, moisture and form sodium hydroxide to eliminate th uh, that these days potassium uh, nitride or silicon dioxide should also used and uh, the main thing is that 130 means a very handful amount of sodium azide generate very huge amount of nitrogen that is 67 liter so this is the main thing this should be known to you the uh, inflation time is also very tiny that is 0.3 uh, means that air bag deinflate through tiny pores that is the main thing because as soon as the inflation used to take place it has to deinflate also the deinflation being shown over here means after the accident what used to happen this is the computer graphics image being shown if the inflated air bag doesn't deinflate within time then you can see the inflated bag can also cause the journey injury in inflated bag can also cause the injury to the neck so it should get deinflated within uh, the fraction of second time also means after the cushioning effect is given given to the head it should start deinflating this is the right pattern and the deinflation time is to be controlled these are the tiny meshing pores are being shown and the deinflation should take place within the time also so research is uh, being done and these are developed so the deinflation time is 0.3 second that is being shown over here and in order to uh, in order for affected occupant to in enjoy maximum protection the air bag must be fully inflated before the occupant come in contact with it means the inflation of the air bag should be well before the seat belt uh, tightening system loose means the uh, body used to go backward and then i had that should before that the air bag should be inflated now the maximum permissible forward displacement between driver air bag is fully inflated is a prop 12.5 cm because this is the permissible displacement this is being permitted corresponding to period of 10 ms plus 30 ms uh, that is 40 ms after initial impact means the maximum permissible uh, displacement should be this much only means 12.5 cm only it need 10 ms for electronic firing to take place and 30 for the airbag to inflate i have shown you that uh, through the figure also the 10 mm duration is being shown for the firing and overall 30 ms means the 50 they have shown 
so 30 millisecond is the duration which is required for inflation of the airbag and after that well before the airbag has inflated then the head should collide so this was the first point which was mentioned over that over there uh, the first point which was mentioned was that uh, well before it should uh, uh, it should inflate fully inflate well before and the second point is that the time they have mentioned that i have shown you through the figure also in a 50 km per hour crash the airbag take 40 milliseconds to inflate because the figure which i have shown you was for 56 i have mentioned 56 the speed was there so for different speed the fraction of time that is required for inflation and the cushioning effect and the de-inflation de-inflation will be different so uh, the time which is being shown is mentioned over here and the all, although the time which they have mentioned is, is equivalent to the batting of the eyelid that is the main thing because the batting of eyelid was shown to you this was compared the complete time which was shown to you over here is compared compared with the batting of the of the eyelid means uh, the eye is uh, flickering of effect of the eye means uh, the batting of the eye and the accelerometer sensor which is being shown over here uh, the location was shown to you in the uh, figure also that where the accelerometer sensors are located in the vehicle itself these are the sensor crash sensor are located these are sensor they used to actually detect the crash i will show you through the video also that how they are located and how to take out the radiator beside the radiators they are located in the front grill and after removing their actual mechanics can be known so just go through this figure i will show you that how they are removed and what the actual mechanism is there what mechanical method they are using for a conventional vehicle the acceleration sensor for impact detection are integrated directly to the ecu belt right tighten the front airbag at a point uh, and mounted at a selected point on left right body side i have shown you the locations also where they are mounted whether it is the side of the vehicles whether it is the side of the vehicles or front of the vehicle if the vehicle is there certain vehicle is there front of the vehicle or side of the vehicle wherever they are mounted a special procedure is used to incorporate the spring mask so that spring mask system i would like to show you that one ball system they have shown and one spring mask system they have shown these both the figures are important so i would like to show you that how they used to work for this i would like to show you one video that how sensor used to work this is the location what they are showing they, they are moving the headlight the front grill and after moving the light they can assess the accelerometer sensor and now they will open it this is the main circuit which you have to draw in the examination that is the airbag sensor whether it is the left front right front left right side or left right side or left side whichever is this and they used to give the signal to the srs computer we say dedicated control unit is there for crash sensing it used to get the signal from the vehicle speed that what the vehicle speed is there because impact is dependent on the vehicle speed also that is the main thing because without that uh, the airbag can't be operated the second thing is the yaw the yaw now what the yaw rate sensor is over here because uh, whenever a vehicle used to move uh, i have to take one page if suppose this is the vehicle and uh, we can't see vehicle from the side because we have to see vehicle from the top yaw means if the axis is vertical then about vertical axis the movement about this axis means if the vehicle we are seeing from the top and this is the axis and about this axis whatever movement is there means whatever steering motion of the vehicle is there means yawing means vehicle is drifting to the light, this side or this side that's your rate sensor is used and seat belt whether the occupant has activated the seat belts or uh, wear the seat belt also because that's uh, for uh, functioning of airbag the seat belt uh, should be wear that is compulsory and the ecu uh, the combined signal given to the communication is done with the issue that's why the two-way communication is being shown and dependent on that the driver passenger left seat right seat left curtain or right curtain airbag used to get deployed 
so how the sensor used to work because these many airbag sensors are shown initially he was opening the sensor also in the vehicle and how the sensor used to work is that uh, a magnet mechanism is shown the dynamic video was, of this was shown in the initial video also and as soon as the impact is very high this ball used to leave this magnet and used to strike this side and the connection which was earlier the connection was not there between the circuit the connection has taken place and the circuit has completed and this small resistance whatever the ignition effect it will provide will ignite that chemical uh, the second uh, means signal will provide to the circuit complete circuit the signal signal will be provided sometimes the cam type mechanism is also used because in the vehicle which in which he is opening the part the cam type mechanism is used in this mechanism what used to be there that both the uh, uh, switch are not connected but as soon as the collision takes place the cam rotates with inertia and activates the circuit and this signal is given to the microcontroller signal or the signal which is used the data signal is used by the ecu so he is going to open this cam type mechanism which is being shown the cam the cam will oscillate and will connect these two plates these two plates will be also shown in the video so he is going to open because a complete sealing is there to prevent it from moisture and other things <coughs> and he is he has opened now he will remove these two plates which were shown to you these are the plates which are not uh, generally connected in the normal condition but in the collision they used to get connected like this they, he is showing or for this a cam type mechanism is used means uh, this cam is used and this cam he will remove and will show to you that how this cam used to look like this is the cam and this is the uh, axis about which it was it used to swivel so this they are showing that this used to connect that to and the circuit get computed so the same thing is being shown how the circuit used to get computed this used to get connected and the two used to get connected the two used to get connected and same thing is being shown over here also means there it used to get connect that two and uh, uh, the insulator speed the volume what it used to generated was uh, earlier told to you that handful of sodium azide give a big big amount of nitrogen 67 liter is obtained from 130 gram of sodium azide now the next thing is the uh where it is uh, where the location of gas generator is there means the generator location is being shown and what chemicals or what uh, things they are using these days hybrid type generators are also used means hybrid types generators are also used in hybrid what used to happen the beside chemical one high pressure cylinder is also used means inert gases is also used but the simple mechanism should be known to you uh, this is a simple case these are the propellant charge the igniter and the after ignition the gas used to go to the air bag the igniter is activated propellant charge is ignited the second sequence and evolving gas diffused through metal filter into the air bag a metal filter is used if any particle is there and the complete mechanism is being shown to you like this hopefully this video will be useful for you to understanding the mechanism basic mechanism of air bags and uh, how many uh, and how you it used to get deployed and how many airbags are there the simple thing is one uh, is that again i would like to repeat that what the simple thing is that uh, the sensors are used and the chemical reactions are used for timely inflating the airbag if any queries are there then please do ask thank you